Okay, Netflix. I see you. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Merry Christmas, guys. It's been so long. Okay, so it's been since October, but it's been so long since I did a movie review or anything on this channel. I'm sorry, I've been busy. I am working on a Christmas short for you guys. Um, it's going to be super duper simple. I just got to get two of my friends over here to do it with me and then I'll have it done and it will be up on YouTube and Vimeo. Um, and when it comes out, please comment below. Tell me what you like. Was it awesome? Was it whatever? Just please watch it and then share. And of course, subscribe. And click the bell. And comment. And thumbs up and all that good stuff. However, enough advertisements. <laughs> um, so Netflix decided to drop a new film that apparently blew up. And it's now like one of the biggest things on Netflix at the moment. It's called The Christmas Chronicles. We know Netflix likes to come out with original content. And the original content is pretty amazing. Um, well, with the exception of Death Note. Death Note was kind of, we're just not going to talk about that. Kurt Russell, Darby Camp, Jonah Lewis, Judah, Judah Lewis? Yes, Judah Lewis, Kimberly Williams Priestley. Now, if that name sounds familiar, but you don't know her face, go watch Father of Bride and Father of Bride 2. The ones from the 90s. Not the earlier iterations, the ones from the 90s with Steve Martin. You'll know who she is. And I'm not going to tell you who plays Mrs. Claus. If you hadn't seen it already, you need to see it so you can find out who plays Mrs. Claus. Because I was like, oh, hi, Mrs. Claus. No wonder Santa's so faithful to you after all these things. Let's get started on this review. First of all, let's talk about the basic plot of the movie. Christmas Chronicles follows these two kids. At the beginning of the movie, you see the family all happy together, then you get the present at Christmas, and one member of the family is missing. Well, they're dealing with the loss of their father. Major plot point, but it's not so much that it could be a spoiler, because you'll pretty much get it within like the first five minutes of the movie. The girl wants to be close to her brother. She's only 10. But the brother being Mr. I'm a teenager. I'm grown. I don't need anybody. Goes to his little rebellious phase after her father dies after their father dies. And the mom is still reeling from the loss of the love of her life, who gave her two kids. One of which is a spoiled little brat. The thing about the brother is, you can see that he still wants to be very much a part of their lives, but he and his father were so close that the death hit him kind of hard. Um, maybe not kind of hard, but excruciating. It wasn't digital. So it's like, wow. <laughs> That's really old technology. The girl is watching video from footage from the last Christmas that they had with their father and after everyone goes to bed she notices this arm with like a red sleeve and white trim. She says that's him! That's Santa! That's proof that Santa's real. So she convinces her brother, well she blackmails her brother into helping her set up the camera to record Santa. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, 
in the act of leaving presents for them on Christmas. It's an adventure that it, it leads them on an adventure that neither one of them will ever forget and that no one will believe even though she recorded it um, I don't know if anybody's still gonna believe it I'm not gonna go into any spoilers any details or anything like that about the movie you have to see it it's too new for me to go into spoiler territory on it um, but I got an older movie that I'm probably gonna go to spoiler territory for on that I'm gonna release on Christmas so stay tuned for that one Definitely a family-oriented movie. Mind you, there are some moments where you're going, Oh, language! But it's not language like you would expect in older Kurt Russell movies. Um, Escape from New York or Los Angeles. Anyone? It's hilarious. It's relevant and it makes you think of Santa in a completely different way. And... It answers the question, how does Santa get down the chimney? How does Santa get in houses that have no chimney? And how does he deliver all of those toys all around the world in one night? Those questions are answered in the most imaginative way in this movie. And you're going to be able to put on Netflix or find the DVD release in like Target, <clears throat> not sponsored ad, or Walmart, <clears throat> not sponsored ad, and be able to answer the question. You want to know how Santa gets into apartments and houses that have no chimney whatsoever? You want to know how Santa can travel the world in one night? Here, watch this movie. This will answer all of your questions about Santa. <sighs> now, Santa has this thing throughout the entire movie where he he has a grudge against the Coca-Cola Santa. Yeah, it, it's a running gag. It's a hilarious running gag in this whole movie and I think that you will enjoy it very much so. Um, I really can't, I really don't want to spoil the movie, and I'm good at that. I'm not going to tell you the entire thing, just know that there is a musical sequence, that it has every, it has touched on every single Christmas trope in every single Christmas movie ever made. Even in some Christmas movies where the trope is kind of twisted a little, trying to make it seem like it's a non-Christmas movie, it's there. It's touched on. Alright guys, the camera decided to shut off before I was finished giving my review of this movie. So, now I'm going to finish giving the review for this movie. Um, forgive the lighting, it's hours later and I did not go downstairs and get my lighting kit because I just want to get it done. So I got it the best I can. If you can't see me, forgive me. Um, so, this is a movie that you can see with your mom, your dad, your kids, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, any and everybody um, in your family. So, if you have a movie night coming up and during this holiday season and you guys want to watch something, you want to watch something that is new, something you've never seen before, head over to Netflix. Put on a Christmas Chronicle, grab a pack of Cokes, grab some popcorn, some movie candy, sit down and relax because I'm going to give you the rating that I gave this movie. I give this movie a 4.5 out of 5. Why am I only giving 4.5 out of 5? All of the holiday movie tropes that are in the movie. I would for once like to see a holiday movie that does not follow all of the expected Hollywood movie holiday tropes. Just, just once, once, for once, I would like to see a holiday film movie that doesn't have those. Um, 
So have you seen the Christmas Chronicles yet? If you have, what do you think of Kurt Russell as um, Santa Claus? Were you surprised to see who Mrs. Claus was? Don't tell people who Mrs. Claus was until maybe January to give everybody a chance to see the movie on Netflix. Um, but what are some things that, what were your favorite parts of the Christmas Chronicles? What were not your favorite parts of the Christmas Chronicles? Um, let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, subscribe, move over, ding that little bell um, on the notifications so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video on this channel. And believe me, in 2019, there's going to be so many new videos, it's going to be fantastic. Um, share. Give it a thumbs up and come back um, next time, next week actually, for another movie review. Check out my social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Instagram mostly has the behind the scenes of everything that I do, so you may want to check that out. And I will see you guys next video. Kind, be brave, be awesome, and go out, mwah, and create. Bye, ladybugs.